Savoring the moment? I can feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Well, for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. Do not be so quick to relax. Oh, Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointingly so. Either way, the two of you have first-hand experience. Which will be of great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. Aye, it's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off! It's time. I trust you have everything you need? And so does our ship cast off from the docks. We sail west, as Kattenram did some 80 years past, bound for the new world, known to her children as the continent of Toral. Just wait, Papa. When this contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wokla Mat! Smooth sailing so far? Aye, so far so good. But this sea, she's a fickle one. Calm one moment, blowing a gale the next. I'll take my rest while I can then. We left port what seems an age ago now, and we've seen naught but open water ahead. I knew Tural was far, but it's another thing to really know. Speaking of which, some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before. Several times, in fact. I was able to learn a few things about Tuliolal and the Rite of Succession. Since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? 
I'm sure you have questions of your own. We're in for a proper storm, it seems. <sighs> How's your stomach? Any better? I don't know... what you mean. I don't get seasick. I'm just feeling... a little nauseous is all. Isn't that what seasickness is? Erinville, you were born in Tyrrell, yes? Do many Vieira live there? The Shetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north, in Shakturar. And your family? I know nothing of my father, not even his name. As for my mother, Aid we can. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before or since. The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, sending sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses, and thereby shield us from the lightning. What an extraordinary life she must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. Oklahoma, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent, and we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne.
Morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but... I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? Seabirds. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. For a dark moment, I thought the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchor some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd Tuliolan's coasts. Come. did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly set you adrift halfway. If anything, it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm. As a matter of fact, everyone's starting to fancy your chances in the contest. <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more. Then I better not let you down. Oh. Easy, stomach. Easy. We're the last to board. If there's nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? There, look my friends. Behold the scene of our next great adventure. At last, we are come to the land you call the New World. To my home, Tural.
have seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulihyola are still few and far between. And, as we don't build seafaring ships, only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. Mamulja sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomins and merchants to secure employment in Eorzea. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. Rare and currently undocumented, were there some forms we should fill out, or...? Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? You are outsiders? Visitors to Tural? We are. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. Th third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well, of course. Uh, please, accept our apologies. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Well, well. You really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? Anyway, first things first. I bid you welcome to Tuli Hyolal. My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Did you hear the silver scares are back? Seems their overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Aye, and now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. The legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. It is, but as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale, like our skeptical Erinville. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist.
Now to find a spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. Isn't the third promise? Oh, no. I don't know these ones. <sighs> New salt. Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest that she went crying for special help. <laughs> Was there something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? <gasps> the third promise remembers us! Such an honor. Glory on your name, brother. <laughs> and on yours, brother. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to their farce of a family. Unlike the sneveling house cut, we... Our blessed siblings, the Earl of Eric Chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Don Servant. All peoples are equal in Tuli Hyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. Mm, pathetic. Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Listen to me, you! <laughs> A two-headed Mamulja. I knew of them. But that's the first I've seen in the flesh. Some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Are there other two-headed claimants? No. Just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubigo, the Bunewa, and the Dopro. Every once in a great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Hubigo and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength, both physical and magical. Blessed siblings indeed. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. 
We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the rite of succession. Shall we meet you there? The palace it is. I'll let Wuklamart know. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? Ah, <sighs> so it goes. this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them for Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. So the one Estinian is crossing gates with... Save my darling daughter. Know that you are the strongest I fought in many a moon, if not longer. It is the privilege of a lifelong live to face such a formidable soul. <laughs> If it's formidable you want, then look no further than that woman there. Hmm. I see you, warrior. We had no idea you meant to visit Tyral. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. The old man has been feeling his ears. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamachi? A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. Did we see you in the palace? And great in Salonash. It's Erinville now, don't serve it. Ah. 
I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Hmm. Aramville, then. And these others? I assume our Lamatees recruited allies. Ha! All tempered steel! Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends. Claimants are assembled. The first promise, Zorolja. The second promise, Ona. The third promise, Uglamat. And lastly, the chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja. You four will compete in the right of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuliolal is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. The right of succession. The means by which the Autarch of Mamuk was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuli Yolal I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamulja at all. <sighs> So I gave the right of claimant, not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> Now you have us to compete against. Ah, oh, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> Our brother was in shock to Rol leading the Landsguard on a campaign to eradicate a Turol Vidral. Anyone with sense will know he was too busy for games. Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. 
to triumph in the right of succession and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yocturol and find the city of gold. If I may, father. Speak, Kona. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. The city's real. All those years. This was before the founding of Tuliyobal. I traveled the lands of Tural with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Bring them. Tulichola saga. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? Martial tournaments? Hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both, but I am yielding our nation's throne. Let me have this final indulgence. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja as successor and be done with it. The rite of cessation begins now. I'll be watching you progress with great interest. And Clement. Remember to collect your tablets before you leave.
You are one of Lamachi's allies. Speak freely. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Ah. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Even so, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? <laughs> no, not at this time. I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request, would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of succession. But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you had best help Lamachi win. Very well, Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Baldessian, I will find your golden city. Thank you for hearing my petition. She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. If you are second-guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Is that so? I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. 
Not after the Dawn Servant's revelation. Take. There goes Tuliolo's mightiest warrior. First promise. Our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Once you ascend the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Sir Elja. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Soralcha, the first promise and commander of the Landscout. Soralcha, the Palacea. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralja is indeed the natural child of Gurul Jaja. And resilient son, is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion, common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Soralja, the warmonger. Are you all right? <sighs> the echo... It gave me a glimpse into Zuralja's ambitions. Deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. <sighs> it was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. Second promise, you must bring us more marvelous conveniences, more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading easier. The elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition, but we're not like them, afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. If you will excuse me. Plain spoken, as always. <laughs> ah, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. Here we have Kona. The second promise, who spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, 
I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was Turali, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter, as only close siblings do. <laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. different from your dawn servant. That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition, and has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders, and then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> Well said, brother. The Mamulja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament. And the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable. But... You see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. for one thing and one thing only, Third Promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. I place our precious third promise into your care. 
Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Of the Dawn's promise? I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone. I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wuklamat. I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. <laughs> 